get to hear. See, if, you, if you're the co-chair of the event, you seat your friends right in front of you, so they make a lot of noise and make you seem like you're really popular. Thank you all for coming, and thank you, Robbie and Jason. I mean, uh, the adage goes, you know, you don't share a stage with kids or pets, and we had the John Burroughs Choir and the Target Dog here, and then I had to follow Robbie and Jason, so yeah. I really got to work on my placement in the program next year. It's not so good. I got to talk to somebody. Who would that be? Um, their support, these two guys, their support, their lending their voices to this cause is incredible and so meaningful to the organization and the kids. So thank you again. Um, on, on behalf of my co-chair and my partner in crime, Chip Sullivan, and the incredible host committee who worked tirelessly, give it up for Chip. He deserves a little love, as they all do. It is my honor also to welcome you to the ninth annual uh, Glisten Respect Awards LA. I'm proud to be representing two organizations tonight, obviously the Walt Disney Company and Glisten. Disney has supported Glisten for more than 10 years, uh, mainly through the Disney ABC TV group, my family, my other family, thank you all. And we are thrilled to be returning as a presenting sponsor of the awards again this year. Love that my company values this as much as uh, everybody in this room does. Um, and as the chair of the of Glisten's Board of Directors, I am so proud of the organization's impact and I can't begin to tell you, having worked with this organization now, how, um, how truly uh, amazing that is in, in the scope and you'll see some of it tonight. Um, tonight is all about celebrating our honorees and for you to get to know some of the student ambassadors of our organization, these amazing kids who have the strength, the courage, the fortitude, the, the, the passion, and the belief that they can make a difference. And it is, for someone who just wanted to get through school and get out, um, it is inspiring. So I hope you all feel the same at the end of the night. Um, I mentioned this is the ninth annual Glisten Respect Awards in LA. Now, nine years ago, there, I could literally, I could, you could shoot a gun and not hit somebody in this town, God forbid, um, that knew what Glisten was. We were relatively unknown on this coast. And now, nine years later, the people and the organizations in this room are Hollywood. Take a look around you. Well, you could if you, there were lights up. That worked better before I knew the lighting situation. Um, they really are, it is amazing the embrace that this community has given us. And for that, I am incredibly honored and thankful. And it's not just all of you in this room. The entire town is talking about us tonight. If you don't believe me, I have a little gift from our friends at Entertainment Tonight. Thank you, Linda Bell. I could not be more thrilled, more honored, more in awe of all of you here tonight who are here lending your support to help glisten and bullying and bias in K through 12 schools across our nation. Our kids should not be afraid to go to school. End of story. Simple premise, for the love of God, people. And our, we all need to learn and value, learn to value and accept all people, regardless of sexual orientation, gender expression, gender identity, or just being a little different and having people think that that's what they're gonna put you in. Um, so your support of, Gl of Glisten is saving lives. Do not doubt that. And when you hear from these kids tonight, you will understand where your money goes. Our success is due to all of you here in this room. The Glisten Volunteer Leadership, my fellow board members, our National Leadership Council, our National Advisory Council, and, as I've said, our outstanding sponsors. As we, uh, your support is changing lives and enhancing futures. As we build school environments free from bullying and bias, and especially this week, please let that come true soon. Um, finally, I mentioned earlier our incredible host committee. Tonight would not have been possible without the tireless effort of some very, very busy people who gave up themselves and their efforts to make this all happen. 